Okay. So, again, welcome back. Um, this is a, uh, a set of uh, lectures uh, for uh, using um, photographs to help create an architectural structure when you don't have architectural drawings that have been created for you to let you see true measurements. And you can see here that I'm sort of working on this, what I call the, there's the steeple end of the church, and here is the non-steeple end of the church, and I'm working on the non-steeple end of the church, so I have the non-steeple end as a picture in the, uh, in the SketchUp drawing uh, to help me get everything straight. And you can see that I made a little um, t a terrain, and I gave it a grass color, and I put some t t trees in there, just why not? And I did uh, find that I kept getting mixed up as a which way is north, so I took my terrain and flattened it and put an end there to show that that way is north. And the other thing I did is I decided I better do this with layers because what you're looking at right here is 196 megabytes. I don't, I don't have any idea why it's so big. Uh, but I thought, oh, okay, well, let's turn some stuff off. We'll turn off the trees. We'll turn off the... Um, the terrain um, will we'll, um, turn off this picture for measurement purposes for this moment now we got a little church and the church as you can see I made a little box church to help me line this all up and I also um, put the walls, the wall blocks are in there, and these are the little pieces of concrete that are in between all of the blocks. So they can come out too. And these are the window finials that are in that window, and we can take them out. And when we remove that, you see what is left is what I call the uh, foundation concrete and then the foundation stones you can see that if you put the terrain back the terrain kind of comes up to the foundation stones that's the way I, I built the terrain the church is kind of laid down into the terrain but again this drawing right here is 197 megabytes and I, you know, I can't put that on the warehouse, and I can't uh, put it into the forum. I can put it on my website if that interests you. Um, and this is the uh, the non-steeple end. Okay, let's put a little church back in here for a second. This is the non-steeple end of the church. This is all. This is just. Faco, just to help keep your mind straight as to where you are. And these are the little windows. These windows are where I was going to lay in that Getty image to make it look like stained glass. Okay. <clears throat> and I just kept adding blocks. This is this, the <clears throat> non-red door side of the church that has this uh, bricked up doorway you can see it's starting to get big enough that my machine <clears throat> is slowing down it has to unrender it and re-render it and then it, it got so difficult to make all these blocks that i did some cutting and pasting where i just grabbed a bunch of these blocks and put them over here and again you can see on this i put in these buttresses on the non-steeple end of the church it never crossed my mind 
that they would not be on the other end of the church, but they aren't. I'm going to have to take them back out. I did think it was kind of fun if I could do a stained glass effect. Uh, but I have to, let me take out the simple box first. And so now we're looking down inside the church. And I took that Madonna. And these windows that are just translucent blue glass, I put the Madonna on that glass as a, um, as a texture. And that's kind of pretty, I think. Again, that's from Getty Images. And if you come around, you can see that that glass is a translucent material that you can see through. So you can see inside of here the church, because now we're on the outside looking in, and it, it renders the, uh, the Madonna in there. And just uh, for uh, interest, um, this church is 56 megabytes so i can't even show that on the warehouse or put it in the forum 